I was seven years old, and it was spring, and my mother was hanging up the laundry, and she put the little radio on an orange crate. And the radio announcer said, and now, from California, where the sun always shines, a new song. And I said to my mother, is there really a place where the sun always shines? And she said, yes, California there, it's never winter there. And I said, I'm going to move there. When uh, the first stories came out about this odd, mysterious disease, it did indeed cast a shadow over everyone I knew. NPR was on, and they started reporting on gay cancer. And I had a terrible dread when I heard that. People would disappear, and um, you'd see them one week, you'd see them the next week. They'd look worse, and you wouldn't see them again. I came out and immediately was diagnosed with this. Um, so I was developing a social circle with people who were dying. The technician just said, yes, you're, it's, it's come back positive. I advise you to see your doctor. Uh, good luck. I pulled myself together, went for a walk in Central Park, and told no one. You have a virus that is lethal, and there are no drugs that can prevent this, and to live your life for 10 years, watching everyone around you get sick and die, and knowing that you have this too, it's, it's a trauma. There was this window of opportunity where they called us the Lazarus men. Somehow, this magic elixir came in, and poof! You rolled the stone back, and you came out of the cave. You came out of the cave and went into the desert, literally. I was going to move to Florida. I started out in the car with the dog, and I got down as far as St. Louis, and then I decided, oh, I've always liked Palm Springs. I think I'll turn west instead of east. When you come through that pass on the 10 and you go past the windmills, it's like Lost Horizons. You're 15 years younger than you were on the other side of that pass. And I got off the plane at 10 at night and it was 100 degrees and it was very windy. It was very dry. It felt so wonderful. There's so many of us here that it's not like living in real small town America where you are the one or two or three gay people in that town. I've tried to structure my life where I would not be a freak. And in Palm Springs, lots of 50-ish, 60-ish men who don't work, who have HIV, whose lives have been jumbled about because of that. When I was diagnosed with full-blown AIDS, I had zero T cells. Now that I'm alive 10 years later, am I still living with AIDS? They say it's a chronic disease of the body. Well, some people have the misunderstanding that means it's cured. It's not cured. And they say, well, look at you. Look how healthy you are. And I say, what if Medi-Cal and Medicare pulled the funding on my drugs? Do you know I'm dead? I've been HIV positive, what, 25 years? I have in the back of my mind that I'm going to live a, a full life. Um, I probably will die of some kind of cancer related to medications as opposed to the AIDS virus. And I'm still taking four pills twice a day. A lot of the old ones are becoming new. So it was always like the waiting game for new medications to come out. Personally, I am experiencing a percentage of renal failure. My kidneys are wearing down because of all the years of filtering out HIV medications. I have chronic fatigue due to, due to HIV. I have peripheral neuropathy due to HIV. I have facial wasting and some other things that are going on that are associated with either HIV or the medications related to HIV. Although I hate to admit it, I do feel that living with this for so long has certainly had its effects. Whether it's the virus or the meds, you kind of throw up your hands and say, I have to learn to live with this. There are still times that you're like, why the fuck am I alive? Why did I live through this? And I am getting tired of it. I'm getting tired of just surviving. The younger generation doesn't even want to hear about what we've been through. It's sort of like it didn't even exist. 
Optimism is a good thing in our situation. The, the ones that aren't thriving are the ones that are depressed and sad and they can't seem to find meaning in life. And there's meaning all over the place. You just have to go get it. In my mind, I'm 20 and I don't have HIV. I don't have anything because I have that happening of being alive. I'm here for another day. I made it through the night. I'm here. I have a day. What am I going to do with it?